I'm a psychologist and I provide counseling assessments and behavioral support to individuals. Being a student at MVCC, Mohawk Valley Community College, it's a lot of work there. I'm taking uh, general studies right now, but I'm doing uh, criminal justice classes along with uh, some of the general education stuff. And I enrolled in the, it's just the basic EMT, it's the lowest level of EMS, but still allows you to work in an ambulance. I joined the military right out of high school. I was in for about five years as a dental assistant. And when I came back home, I you know, went back in as a dental assistant. And, you know, I was working there for a couple of years and realized I wanted to get into personal training. I started working with personal energy and we did a lot with the fire departments, with St. Paul Fire Department, with the Rochester Fire Academy recruit class. I was a junior in high school when I joined the fire department. This appealed to me because our fire chief, he was also my football coach and he really helped me through high school. When I was 15, our old home caught on fire and I ended up putting it out the right way. It was an electrical fire, so you don't throw water on it, you obviously try to smother it. When they got to the scene, I saw a couple of the older classmen there and they were like congratulating me on things I did and how I handled things and he said, I want you on the fire department when you become age. I work full time. I am also a mother of two girls, two teenage girls, a single mom. They root me on for going on calls, you know, go save the world. But definitely you gotta find balance within your home life, your professional life, and your, your social life. I do find the time. I wake up in the middle of the night to go on calls. I know that's not for everyone. Here at Maynard we have uh, three rules. It's uh, family first, work slash school, and then fire department, which just knowing the priority list that they expect here helps a lot. Just gone through Firefighter 1, that was five months. So between that and work and you know everything else, yeah, it was you know it was a lot to do. But you know I make time for my friends, I make time for my family. I gotta make time for the things I want to do too. You can totally plan around things. Like me being off of school in the summer, I was totally able to do trainings during school. It's a little bit more complex, it is, but as long as you have the necessary tools and planning skills, you can definitely work around it and get your trainings in. Really anyone could do the training to be a volunteer firefighter. It gives you the opportunity to try something new and something that will give you the skills and confidence to increase your self-esteem. It's really all based on teamwork, so you're never alone in it. The instructors that trained us were really helpful. They watched us carefully. At first you're like, whoa, and then your training automatically kicks in and it's like, I can do this. They take it slow with you. At first, you probably come down to the station instead of going to the scene the first few times. They, right, this is how the radio room operates, this is dispatch. You get more confident with that, you start going to more scenes. Just the stuff you learn is, you can take that anywhere. You always remember how to do that kind of stuff. You definitely want to start conditioning before you, know, you go in. You're doing a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of work, <laughs> but it can be done. It just, you know, it takes effort. I'm, I'm really excited to finally get put all my training to use. There's definitely a camaraderie between the, your brothers and sisters at the fire company. What you really find out is that everyone has each other's back and you need that support. And everyone provides that support. It does become a family. It's just a great feeling, experience, emotions. It just it touches your heart, really. I would say, literally, come down for a couple of our trainings, like, get your feet wet. It's, it's a great feeling when you hear those tones go off, that you're just in that mode all of a sudden, and you want to get there, um, get your gear on, get on the truck, and do whatever the job is. If somebody was on the fence, um, wondering if they could do it or not, I would say do it, give it a try. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a son. I am a personal trainer. I'm a student. I am a psychologist. I am a volunteer firefighter. And I'm a volunteer firefighter. I am a volunteer firefighter. And I am a volunteer firefighter.